I struggle a lot when I learn in. And it, well, I did in primary. And I feel like when I've come here, I've learned a lot more. I would say I've never worked so hard in my, in my professional career, but actually I've never enjoyed my teaching so much. It's brilliant. So yeah, look how big that thing is there, look. So that must have been a really wet year. Urban sprawl. Urban sprawl, excellent. Log in. XP School in Doncaster teaches students through learning expeditions. In its first GCSE results in 2019, subjects taught this way delivered scores more than half a grade higher than the national average. 11 times oversubscribed, it has never hired a single supply teacher in five years and it's permanently excluded just one pupil ever. We focus on, on, on three things. Yeah, we focus on character growth, we focus on creating beautiful work and we focus on academic progress. And we believe that if you focus on growing as a character, you will create beautiful work and as a consequence of those two things, you will achieve academically. Staff at XP spend a great deal of time planning their expeditions at the start of every term. They come up with their own ideas for the theme, often inspired by contemporary events. Kerry Poncia, a Year 7 Humanities teacher, works with her colleagues to think of a guiding question which will drive the whole project. So we're thinking of um, like an environmental expedition and we're taking the, um, the story of the Lorax by Dr Zeus as our inspiration. A key element of it is that we meet, we meet as a group of staff, so it's about having, having that rigour and having that accountability amongst each other. It's all public and we do a lot of that here. Um, because, because planning an expedition is really, really complicated. They get a sense of fire in their bellies because they, they love the work that they're doing. It's powerful, powerful stuff, and so our staff work incredibly hard, that, that, and that's why it works. Each expedition at XP is mixed ability and cross-curricular, but is carefully mapped to the standards required for the national curriculum and for GCSEs, including the core subjects of English, maths and science. You might want to actually show a distance time graph. It involves field work in the local area, experts coming into school and creating a product at the end of it to show off to families and the wider community. Staff must make the product themselves first to make sure it's doable for students. If we've been through the process, we know exactly what the, the children are going to have to go to so we can plan for that accordingly. Um, because sometimes what you think is going to work, and you're like, it doesn't work out like that and it can throw your plans totally out the window. So if we've kind of done a little mock-up kind of prototype first, chances are it's going to work. Yeah. Yeah. Ready? One, two, three. Ta-da! So that's what I've created. Well done. The next stage is immersing students in the topic they will be looking at. At the end of the week, they begin to guess what the guiding question is. Guiding question. Oh. Ruby. How can we contribute to like saving the trees? Right. Who speaks for the trees? Oh. We. We. Show you this. Oh. All right. So, this is going to be the driver for the expedition as well. To bring the project to life, students spend a day at the nature reserve near the school to learn more about forests. Bats are protected. We don't just protect the trees in this woodland. There's certain animals that are protected as well by the Countryside and Wildlife Act. In the afternoon, it's time for what XP call a solo. That one there. Yeah. Every student is led to a tree to spend an hour and a half beneath it, alone with their thoughts. So the idea behind Solo is to give our students an opportunity to reflect and we want students to reflect on how they've grown as characters since they first joined us. And we've also asked them as well to, to write a letter to their future self to kind of think about how they might grow in the future as well. Um, and then students have also been asked to um, answer the guiding question or have thoughts about the guiding question. 
video games took over my life. Um, still have. And I've just like forgotten about video games. Today I'm just going to come back like I've learnt something about myself that I could, I could actually survive without electronics. Like I've never done something like that before and it makes you think about everything and reflect on everything that you've done. It's just absolutely wonderful and just to see students grow over one day, it, it's, you can't put it into words. Next, it's time for the students to put all their research on their topic into one piece of extended writing. They simplify into notes what they've learnt from the field trip, experts coming into school, the immersion week and anything else. Oh, Staff help them structure their essay and students publicly critique each other's work. So this is like the main plan, it's going to help you like do the instruction and then like set in the context and then the conclusion and like the causes and impacts. The extended writing will be graded and the students themselves will be assessed through the school's own character goals. So the two key methods of assessment here at XP are first of all our HOWLs which are our habits of work and learning. So within that we assess for working hard, getting smart and being kind and then in addition to that we also assess academic progress. What we found this year there's been such a clear correlation between the fact that if students are working hard, getting smart, it means that they become kinder but they also achieve academically. Our curriculum is built on what we call powerful knowledge uh, which is about giving our kids the knowledge to change the world about them uh, and you can see that in our curriculum. Our kids have written books about the miners, the railway, the NHS, the suffragettes um, and they, all their products are out there in the real world. The final product this term will be a permanent reminder of the expedition on a wall in the school for all to see. The expedition ends with the presentation of learning to families. Hello and welcome to E25's presentation of learning. Our beautiful rainforest cities are making way for your ugly concrete jungles. So, will you speak to the trees with me? Students develop their confidence by speaking publicly about what they've learnt and then their product is unveiled. I am Florence. I speak with the trees. I thought it was a fantastic presentation. Uh, I'm really impressed with the confidence that the kids speak with about uh, subjects like this as well. It's uh, really impressive, yeah. In XP, I've seen his confidence grow. It's like yes. we've won the lottery. Yeah, it is. They're a year in and they still want to come. Yeah, they want to get here early, don't they? Leave late, <laughs> love it. This is a typical turnout. You know, we get, we get very close to 100%, often 100%. So it's all part of it. We bring the community into school. Oh, it's amazing, I, I wish I were. I wish I were now younger. I've never seen anything like it. In 2017, Ofsted rated XP as outstanding in all categories. In 2019, all students took History GCSE and a quarter of them got the top grades of an 8 or 9. XP's curriculum has purpose and is rooted in a traditional model of developing character and high academic standards. Its message to other schools is you can do it too. I've been told by a number of people that, it, that this approach costs too much, uh, it takes too much time for people to do, uh, there's not teachers that, do, that can do this. Uh, I've been told lots of things, but my answer is come and see it for yourself. <laughs> <laughs>